Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. And we're with a young man here from Coldwater, Ohio. His name is Austin Minchover. And Austin, tell us a little bit about your experience with FFA. We're here at the beautiful Mercer County uh, Fair. And of course, we're here with this restored Oliver that you have been working on. Before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about your experiences with FFA, how long you've been involved and what you're doing in that aspect of things to uh, continue your career in agriculture. I've been in FFA for about four years now. This will be my fourth year going on. Uh, I've been in multiple things. I've been in uh, soil judging, which we t test the land to see if it's fit for crops or see if it's fit for buildings like this one behind us. Uh, I also go to a national convention, state convention, FFA camp. I try to get involved as much as I can just trying to be able to experience some of the FFA things that they uh, offer. And in future, I really rather, I want to help on um, my grandpa's farm again. I want to be able to uh, raise my own cattle, raise my own corn, soybeans. I want to just have my farm eventually, just like every else, everybody else in Mercer County. They want to make it big and farming. <laughs> well, we know Mercer County is one of the largest with regards to agricultural receipts here in the state of Ohio, if not uh, the nation. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of activity from our crops to our livestock, and that's something that you do on a full-time basis and want to continue to do. But you have a little something on the side that's really cool. Tell us a little bit, little bit about this, Oliver, how this came to fruition and what it means to you. This, Oliver, was my grandfather's first tractor they had on the farm. What it means to me is... It shows dedication, it shows hard work, it shows that someone had a, their mind set on something they were able to do it. And I wanted to bring it back to where it was when they got it new and when they cherished it. Whenever we got it, it wasn't the best of shape. It was kind of beat up, it was missing parts, it, it needed some help. And I figured to help my grandfather out for a good birthday present is to redo it and give it back to him as a happy birthday. So what we did, we had to find the front grill parts because they didn't. It didn't come with it. The front hood or the top of the hood was all beat up, and because it used to have a loader on it, but I wasn't able to rebuild the cylinders in time for the fair, so that's why we don't have the loader on it now. So it was lifting up logs and it was lifting up manure and everything. So it's something's gonna fall on it, and sure enough, it fell on it. So. We had to straighten out the metal, repaint it, make it look pretty again. And the way we painted it, though, is also not not only just for the show mirror factor as the shininess and the cleansing cleanliness of it, but also for the fact that if Grandpa wanted to, he could still go out and use it and not afraid to get it dirty, not afraid to scratch it. It's a farm tractor. We paint it to where you can use it, but also show it off and be proud of it. You know, that's one of the things that I think is very unique about this. It's not just a show tractor. It's something that actually is part of the business, and you keep it active and in use on the farm. Yeah, we sure do. Sometimes it's pushing snow. Sometimes it's just out driving around. And sometimes I'll bring it over to my other grandfather's help and house and help home manure with it or help grind feed or do whatever we need to do with it, maybe sometimes even bale hay. Well, Austin, let's talk about how uh, the domino effect of farming takes place. Of course, you know, you're born and raised on the farm. You get involved in FFA. You get involved in a project like this. You use this on the farm, and it's active and something that means a lot to you. And, and now the next domino to fall is the fact that you got so excited about doing this project that it may lead to a, another side business for you. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we... Uh me and a partner of I started a business in memory of my father that passed away in 2012 of cancer. He used to do this on the side note too. But anyways, we wanted to do it because my father passed away and I felt like it was something that we had to do to be able to bring part of my father back to, for the family and for everyone in that community. We figured we might as well by the two of us we might we could we could do something we could figure it out we can get it done we can we'll be able to do this so now we started it and we've got five or six tractors painted now and we got uh some milk cans and we do some side jobs it doesn't matter what it is we 
paint it all. We we work on just about anything. We even worked on a golf cart of mine. Uh, I repainted part of my golf cart because it was all scratched to heck, and I didn't figure I was going to be doing that with working on tractors and older farming equipment, but it's something we do. So, Austin, let's talk a little bit about what this means to you. Let's talk about the personal relationship that you have, not only with this business, but with this tractor. Uh, the personal relationship I have with this tractor is it's my grandfather's. I take pride in it. I really enjoy old tractors. I mean, I'm a collector of them myself. I have half a dozen tractors at home that I own and we work, me and my stepfather worked on or me and my buddy have worked on. So I take pride in these. I, I'd like to get a couple more of these, obviously, before I get out of high school, but uh, it really means a lot to me to be able to do things like this for other people and for my family. It means that they're willing to trust what I can do and they know that it's in good hands. I mean, I'll take care of it. I'm not, I'm, I want to make it better than what it was or if not able to make it better, I'm going to try my best to be able to make it better. And if they don't like it and they have some suggestions on what they wanted to do or how they want to change it, well, let me know and I can do that. It, I mean, it's not that hard. I love doing it. It's a great experience. It's a real challenge. It's just, it's an adventure, and it's something you can't really explain without doing it yourself once. Yeah. It's just a really cool adventure that I love to be able to do yeah. every day. Yeah, right on. Well, listen, Austin, if people want more information, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, you can uh, find us on Facebook at uh, Mincho for Restoration. We have pictures on how we were able to restore this tractor and a couple other tractors. It's pretty exciting to know that agriculture is in good hands with farming youth like Austin here who take seriously his heritage and continue the heritage of farming, not only on the farm, but with a new business like this. And wish you a lot of luck, Austin. Thanks for joining us. Yep, thank you. And we'll be back with more In Ohio Country today right after this.